welcome to our show, Film Talk with AJ Dean. I'm AJ Dean, your host, and oh my gosh, I am super thrilled tonight, super excited. We have a dream come true for me. Uh, I have been looking so forward to this wonderful special VIP in the building. We have Mr. Bobby Brooks Wilson. He is Mr. Entertainment. Let's give him a super, super warm welcome. We're going to talk about all that he does. Hey, Bobby, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Thanks I'm, for having me on. Thank you for being here. You know, this is one of the highlights. <laughs> this is one of the highlights and dreams of my career. You know, you're not only a uh, a legend yourself now. Your father was a legend, and now you're a legend. You're a singer. You're a musician. You're the son of legendary R&B soul singer Jackie Wilson, and now you're making your own legendary career and your own blazing your own trails and i'm so proud of you and we adore thank you. you thank you we adore you and love you and so let's get right into it i want to talk first okay. of all first of all how are you and where are you well i'm off the coast of puerto rico i'm on one of the uh, royal royal caribbean ships adventures of the seas my show is tomorrow and i just got here from traveling from uh uh, so to St. Thomas and then St. Thomas to here. So uh, it's, it's fun. You know, it's a great job to have. It's so wonderful. And, you know, the cruise lines are so great. You're on Royal Caribbean and it's a beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful ship. And I just want to, yes. I want to encourage everybody to uh, go there and check it out. Cause you're going to be um, on there for a while, right? In like in Miami. Is that right? Well, I go on and off. Um, um, I have four days with this ship, and then I got a couple of days off, and then um, during the holidays, I have a couple of shows, and then one popped up for New Year's, so going right into January. Yes. But the, the big the big cruise that I'm looking forward to that's coming up is the Soul Train Cruise, and that's coming up at the end of uh, January, so I'm uh, really ecstatic about being on that. They got a lot of big, big names on there. They got the Boys to Men and War. Melbourne Moore, Stephanie Mills, just to name a few. Uh, one of my all-time favorite bands, Tower Power, oh, is on there. The Temptations are going to be on it. So, uh, with Otis Williams being the the last remaining uh, member uh, on the group, so uh, I'm just looking forward to, to doing the cruise with them. It's going to be wonderful, Bobby. And I love everyone who you mentioned. I love so much. And also, <laughs> right? That's and just also, a few of them. There's a lot more, but yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. I mean, it's a superstar blockbuster cruise, isn't it? I mean, every yes. one of those names is um, a household name. Everybody knows them. And they're absolutely right. fabulous. And I'm super excited. I'm so thrilled for you and and of course you know the temptations everybody loves the temptations as well they're legendary aren't they yes they are and with otis williams being the last remaining member uh it's just it's nostalgic just to see and hear how he keeps that group tight and right you know so um i'm, I'm looking um, forward to seeing them again i actually did a show with them on the malt shop cruise earlier this year and they were outstanding and they also have one of their original members now, they also have a, a member of the Broadway show that's singing bass uh, on this show. Uh, on the show, he sounds just as uh, fantastic as Melvin was when Melvin was, you know, alive. So um, it's, it's going to be exciting. And if you're on the Soul Train cruise this year, you're going to have a good time. Yes. Yeah, so how can we find out about the Soul Train cruise? We can go the to SoulTrainCruise.com. SoulTrainCruise.com. Okay. Oh, All wonderful. Right there. oh, my gosh, <laughs> how exciting. I'm super thrilled for you. And it's just going to be so wonderful. And also, yeah. if anyone's interested in finding out to, you know, to, to attend your concerts, uh, they can go to bobbywilsonmusic.com. That's your website. And they, you can get tickets there and you can find out about even more about Bobby and his wonderful career. And um, I'm just so proud of you, Bobby. You know, Thank you, I'm so, so proud of you. And now you're doing even more great things like this documentary. Let's talk a little bit about that, The Last Teardrop. And this is, um, the director is, I just want to, um, because I respect him so much, 
Tony Greer. He's the yes. director behind it. Now, can you talk a little bit about this documentary? It's so special, isn't it? Yeah, they they reached out to me right before the pandemic started that they wanted to um, talk about my, me and my life and my journey uh, uh, from the from birth until where I'm at now, and um, just a little bit about it. Um, I grew up in the foster home. You know, my parents, uh, my mother gave me up at birth, and uh, so I didn't know my parents. And uh, it goes the movie goes through the discovery of my mother and my father. And uh, my 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 challenges because I had a lot of challenges in the foster home, foster care. Uh, I had health cha challenges coming in, and um, I, by the grace of God, I was able to outgrow all of my my challenges with my with my legs and and my with, with uh, asthma and um, other things, and able to outgrow all of that. Join the military, get married, have kids, and then discover. I'm a son of a, a legend. Uh, so my my but my my real motivation behind doing the movie is to talk more about uh, growing up in the foster home and aging out and walking out in the world on your own. Because when you come in to this world and you don't realize that you you know you you with a family that a foster family that really cares for you, that take care of you like you're your own, you still have that itch of where you don't know who your parents were and, and you, you kind of uh, go through life and wow, what, what would it be? You feel like it was unfair. But what I teach uh, with this film is to, to forgive and, and to forget and to take what God has given you and just run with it. And my mom, Thank God, the way she taught us when we were very young is the reason why we are in her home is because God has a special job for us. He had a special path blaze for us. All we have to do is be willing to hear him and be willing to follow it. And uh, with age, it became easier. You know, with age. <laughs> when I was young, but uh, I didn't hear God's voice. As an older gentleman or young, or older young man, <laughs> <laughs> I hear his voice, and and I want to put the message out. My message to the world is to love, love ye one another. You love yourself. I am my brother's keeper. I am concerned of what my brother's doing, and I want to lift him up while I'm being lifted up. So, uh, the more I lift up my brother, the, the more I lift up myself. The more I forgive my brother, the more I free myself from my own. Uh, uh, what's the word I want to use from locking myself down, you know, to stopping my own, putting blockages in my own life. And the key to getting rid of all blockages in your life is to forgive and forget. They go one in hand in hand. If you can't forget, you haven't forgiven. Uh, if you look at somebody and pain come across your heart, you haven't forgiven them. Yeah. And so you're dragging th that luggage, that baggage throughout your whole life. And you don't have to do that. The blessing I've gotten is the more I release, the more love I can allow to come in, the more I'm blessed, the higher up I go. I love it. Yes, absolutely. 100%. Yeah, Bobby, this is so incredible because you're my brother and I I want to lift you up as well. I want everyone to mm -hmm. see your concerts and I want them to go to your shows and I want them everyone to see the last teardrop when it comes out. And, and you're right, we have a responsibility. I also believe in God and I love your mm -hmm. faith. I love your faith. I love how your mom brought you up. Your mom, yeah. your mom is my mom. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> because, yeah. Right? Mi casa, yeah. su casa, right? I mean, because yeah. yes. we're, we're speaking the same language here. This is what the world needs. You are on such a beautiful mission and I love your mom. I mean, God bless Thank your you. mom. We need more yeah. moms like mm -hmm. your mom in the mm -hmm. world so i just yeah. and, and and then as far as the jackie wilson um uh, banner I, I i feel honored to be the one that continues his music i feel honored to be the one to get people to re remember him and the ones that love him they, they they accept me for who i am i'm not trying to be jackie wilson i'm not trying to even copy jackie wilson i just have been blessed with the ability to at least present his music. And by standing on his shoulders, I'm able to stand on my own feet and produce and write my own music. So um, one hand washes the other. Yeah. So I, 
I, I, I look at it as a blessing. Absolutely. And, and so my father, with all his, his fans that, that are still alive, and then the new fans, the younger kids that are coming up, the new generation. I, um, I, in these, especially on the ships, these kids come up to me with CD of Jackie Wilson. And they goes, "We love him, and we didn't know anything about him to you till we saw your show." Amazing. That's amazing, you know. Yeah. That, that 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 little to light that little fire yeah. musically, and for people to follow him. And 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 he was a great singer. He was a great artist. Uh, he was the artist that was measured by all artists, according to Barry Gordy Jr. and his words. Uh, Barry Gordy Jr. quote: I, "I he measured all artists by Jackie. Yeah. Jackie was the standard." And so, uh, and uh, he, it's also quoted in a couple of his books. He was a musician's musician. Wow! Um, so uh, those are big shoes to fill. My yeah. thing was, I'm not trying to fill his shoes. I'm walking my own walk. Yes, but I, but I have the way I have a way of reminding people of him, yeah. and if I can remind them of him, that's good enough, you know. Absolutely. They can go. They can go hear his music. They can go enjoy his vocals and and his power and some of the videos that are out about him. They can go and do that. That's him. Yeah. That's his artistry. That belongs to him. But the 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 the, uh, the idea that I get the chance to to help keep it out there. It, it's exciting for me. Plus, it's a promise I, get, I gave my brother Thor, who's now in heaven with with our dad. So, oh. uh, I promised him I will keep it going, and I haven't stopped. I love that. This is such a beautiful legacy, and we've got a picture on mm -hmm. screen right now of you and your dad. And Bobby, you are you look so much like him. You know, you've got his DNA, his voice. Mm -hmm. You've got mm -hmm. his his beautiful blood within your veins, and it is a gift. You are a blessing, mm -hmm. and this is what you're supposed to be doing. And I just love how you're right. He did set the standard. It is very very high, a high bar. Yeah right a very high bar right. but you have the command performance and you're stepping into your own and raising it even more bobby that's what you're doing and i'm so so proud of you um we have Thank another you. yeah you're welcome we have another picture here on um the solid gold soul yes <laughs> and with you oh. and right and then another one with you yeah uh, that, that was a great show yeah wasn't it yeah, great I love yeah, it. Yes, it was produced by Nanette Barbara uh, out of, um, uh, we were performing in Harris at Reno and Tahoe. And we had two great runs. Uh, and that, that we had uh, all the artists built around the show. I was the headline in the show, but we, we had Marva Scott, who covered the music of Donna Ross and Donna Summers. And we had Danita Asbury, who covered the music of Aretha Franklin. We had Early Clover, who covered the music of Otis Redding. And uh, we just gave him, a, and we had four fabulous dancers and uh, two backup singers. And it was just a beautiful show. I just wish we could have kept that show running, you know. Uh, but um, from what I understand, the uh, Paris in Reno is now gone uh, and, turn, and turned into an apartment building, which I hate because that was the Sammy Davis showroom that we played in. And I, Sammy Davis Jr. is one of my biggest, biggest, biggest musical heroes. Yes. And so I, I'm just, it, I, you know, when I go to England and and uh, and or the UK or the Europe, they keep the buildings. They don't tear down the buildings. They they have buildings three, four hundred years old, and we keep tearing down our monuments. Sammy Davis showroom should never be torn down. Absolutely. And they they they, they and they they uh, they they. From what I understand, they're changing it to a condo. Ah, oh, that's uh, just Harris, so Harris, yeah, it sucks. <laughs> it it sucks. absolutely sucks. It's 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 yeah. wrong. It's yeah. wrong. We yeah. need to be able to keep our historic Those legends. Yes. Yeah, right. Uh, America seem like the, it, and I'm not the, jumping into politics, but it seemed like they want to rewrite history mm -hmm. instead of yeah. writing history the way it went. Yes, the way it was. Yeah. And, and uh, to get rid of that building is like tearing down history. It's terrible. But, uh, yeah. I mean, even the history of Harris and the, and the gentleman, the man that owned it and how he went about building it is a story in itself. He had Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr. make that place famous so yeah. that he can build Harris, you know. Yeah. So it's just amazing to me that we just 
don't value our history in this country. Mm-hmm. It just it just bothers me. And one of the other things is um, uh, I want to speak on uh, reformation reformation of the foster care that the government you know really reform foster care and put some money into it and put some dollars into it because when you put place these children uh, uh, in uh, good homes or, or people that are willing and able to love them and, and grow them and, and um, as their own, I think that's a lot of value in that because then these people, these children are released into society as, as productive adults and can give back to our society. One of the reasons why I joined the Navy was I wanted to give back because I know mm-hmm. how sick I was. I knew that the doctor kept saying to my mother, you know, I don't think he's going to be a teenager. I don't think he's going to see 15. Oh. I would hear that all the time. Uh, and and the fact that, you know, I was blessed and healed and overcame it. And then the government had the um, subsidies and programs in place that I was able to be healed. Uh, yes. I I, I joined the Navy to give back. And my goal in the Navy was just to do 30 years and retire. But I wound up only doing 10 because I started passing kidney stones. Oh. But that was a blessing oh. in itself because it, it closed the door to the military and opened the door to entertainment. Yes. And that's how I found out my roots. And um. I not, I, I think if I stayed in the Navy 30 years, I probably never found out anything because I wouldn't have been in music. Right. So I would have never found out any any of my musical roots. So it's um, but it was God's plan, not my plan. So Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> God's plan. I love that. And and you're meant to be uh, singing. We need your music, Bobby. We need the good music. And I want yes. to I want to circle back to uh, foster care. I just want to if um, if any representatives of Joe Biden and his administration watch this, we want to make a plea, a serious plea for the foster system so that more money can be given just like what bobby said to have better programs and more support isn't that right bobby Ref, yes we need we need to reform we need to a lot of the rules that are in place are from 1960 oh. and this is 2023 you know going on 2024 we need to reform that system we need to get some serious people into the to the system with a serious office that can go out and inspect these homes and inspect these uh, volunteers, the people that give out their heart and their love and open up their homes to children that are born. Okay, I, I hear them, you know, um, with the Roe v. Wade been, been rolled back, that means there's going to be more children in the world. Yeah. And if, they go, if, we go, if we're going to say, okay, you got to have these babies, then we got to take care of these babies. And everybody that have babies can't take care of them. It was a blessing that my mom gave me up. For me, it was a blessing. You know, and 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 the way my mom, the way I came, you know, if, if my mom had had d- did an abortion, I probably would understand because she wasn't able to take care of me. But thank God, God stepped in from my birth, and I put in a foster home. And the mother that raised me raised over four hundred kids, and I don't believe she was even recognized by the Department of Social Services in South Carolina. That bothered me. This, mm-hmm. She was ninety years old before they realized how old she was. What's and they her, took the kids from her. What's her name, Bobby? Her name was Annie Bell Davis. And I have to tell you, uh, when she turned 90, I wanted to throw a 90, uh, you know, her 90th birthday party with, along with my other uh, foster brothers and sisters. And I, I called the Department of Social Services so I can get a list of all the kids that uh, she had. And they didn't have, they didn't even have me on the list. They're like, oh, we don't go back that far. Oh I'm like, what do you mean you don't go back that far? Wow. They didn't have any type of system to backtrack all the children that she kept. Oh, dear. And I thought that was crazy. Yeah. No, and I, that, and that was in 1990 when she turned, uh, no. when she turned, not, not 1990, she turned 90 in 2000. Uh-huh. And, um, and I wanted to, you know, like I said, I wanted to throw the party for her. And uh, they couldn't help me. I called the department of I kind of need your help. I, I wanted, and I, I worked at WIS TV 10, which was out of Columbia, South Carolina, as a film director and a camera operator. And um, I called them to say, hey, I'm uh, 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 um, uh, uh, a TV personality we call Mr. Knows It. His name is Joe Penner. 
I, I, I called Joe and said, Joe, I want one of one of you guys are interested in doing a story on my mother who raised me, and she raised over four hundred children, and he went crazy. He went. He did a nice little article on her, but um, not as big as I really wanted her. I wanted her to be recognized for for all the work she's kept. Her first child, December the seventh, nineteen forty one. Wow. So she said she got her first child at three thirty in the morning. On December the seventh. Now you know what December the seventh was. <laughs> oh, it's gosh. the it was, it was the bombing of Pearl. Uh, so that morning she received her first child. Wow. So, um, so you know, um, I, I just think it needs to be reformed, um, and um, and I'm reaching out, and if if I have to go to the floor of the Senate or the Congress to set myself, I'm going to speak my piece. Yeah. I'm not going to go Republican or Democrat or Independent. I'm just going to say we are our brother's keepers and we got to love one another as we love ourselves. And a nation divided will never stand. What you are looking at is the demise of a nation if we keep going the way we're going. Yes. It's so, so we got to learn to be to love one another as well as we love ourselves. Republicans got to love Democrats as much as they love themselves. Yes. But if they don't, if we decide stay divided, this nation will fall, just like Rome's Romans fell. Yes. Just like many nations of the history fell. Yeah. And, and that's why history is important because you don't want to repeat it. Right. If possible. Unless it's positive, of course. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Unless <yeah>. it's positive. <laughs> that's right. So, so, yeah. so I don't mean to sound like a preacher, but that's really become my mission. Uh, you know, I'm I'm blessed and I feel blessed to be able to do what I do, but at the same time, I remember as a child, I said, if I be lifted up, I will share God's light. And that's part of my job. So that's what I'm doing. Absolutely. And I love your mission. And that's my heart mission. I share that with you. I think it, this is we, we have one life. Uh, as mm -hmm. far as as far as we know, and we need to take every opportunity we can to love each other, help each other, support each other, build each other up and make this a better place. Make wherever right. we start. Right, Bobby, wherever we start. Right. If we leave it, we need it needs to be better. It needs to be enhanced. It needs to be right. uh, better for the next generation and for our other brothers and sisters around the world, too. Right. Um, and I love that. I love that about you. So you're you're you have such an incredible heart. And I do want to say thank you to a beautiful heart. Also, Ninon Devere de Rosa. It's because of her. Thank you, Ninon, that I. Hey, Ninon. <laughs> hey, Ninon. Um, hey, we love you. And um, she's yeah, still we doing, do she, she's still in Vegas doing her thing. And I'm so proud of her. And that's how we got to meet. And we're Facebook friends. Right. Isn't that right, Bobby? So it's a wonderful thing. Yes, we are. Yes. It's yes, really, really great. So um, I, I just love all that we're talking about. And you're so fascinating to talk to, Bobby. Um, you're just amazing. And they call you Mr. Entertainment. That's your fans have given you that name, right? Because you really are. You're a performer and entertainer. You are like, um, you know, a modern day, you know, Sammy Davis Jr. You're like a modern day <laughs> Jackie Wilson. You really are. I've, and And you're one of my favorites because... Um, and, and just like I love Dina Martin, you know, um, mm -hmm. you're a trifecta star. And what I mean by that is you can sing, you can dance, you can act, you know, you've yeah. got multi skills. And it's like the old Thank Hollywood. You. Remember the old Hollywood studio star? Yes, I do. And yes, I, I do. and I love that. I love that. So you are amazing. And I'm just so Thank proud you. of you. Thank you. Very sweet. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I just want to. I I just want to. You're welcome. I I want to say I see you, Bobby. You're shining mm -hmm. and you're rising even farther. You're a beautiful example and a role model for everyone. I just want to say that to you. Okay. You. <laughs> All right. Um, Thank you very much. I you're appreciate it. So, you're so welcome. Um, I've got some concert dates here. Um, December twelfth through January fifth, twenty twenty four. Are you going to be on Royal Caribbean? I'm on four different ships during that time. Okay. So I'm on the Freedom of the Seas. I'm on the Adventure of the Seas, Navigator of the Seas, Explorer of the Seas. Uh, each week I go to four different ships. And then uh, it ends on actually the 12th because they added another ship after the 5th. But then I go to 
Mohegan Sun on January 14th. Wow. And I, I'm part of um, uh, uh, the Shana Na show, Bowser, which is going to be at, at the Mohegan Sun. So if you you're gonna be if you're gonna be in the area, you can go to the Mohegan Sun and get tickets now. Uh, January the 14th, I will be there. Um, it's going to be great. And then the last week, of course, of January, I'm in. Uh, I'm on the Soul Train cruise, and the day after I'm off the Soul Train cruise, I'm in Century Villa in Florida. Century Villas in Florida, uh, right outside Fort Lauderdale, mm-hmm. uh, and I'm doing the show on. I think it's February the 4th. So that's just the beginning of the year. And for those back in Las Vegas, February 17th, I will be Anthems. So tickets will be going on sale pretty soon for the Anthem show, uh, Freedom Hall. Uh, So if you're in Vegas, that's the only show I'm going to have all year. I'm already booked out the rest of the year. Oh my God. So unless something changes. But uh, if if you're in town, it's right after Valentine's, three days after Valentine's. Come on down. We're going to have a funky good time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes, yes, and yes. And, and Bobby, yeah. congratulations on this incredible, you know, the incredible tour that you're doing, the solid gold, everything. It's just so amazing. And, you. you know, it, it's um, this is your time. This is your time, Bobby. I really feel... Mm-hmm. I, I feel it's going to get even better and better for you. And I also want to tell everybody you're a three-time Grammy balloted artist and right. you've got a, a CD. Is the CD called Jack Master 7? Is that the name? No, that's a single. Um, a single. My, CD called, my CD is called It's About Time, Bobby it's Brooks Wilson. Time. And you can still get that on, uh, on Amazon.com or iTunes or Google Play. Also, is uh is on Spotify for those that don't want to buy music, <laughs> so, and then um, uh, but the uh, the the are you ready? Is the song you're talking about, which is on a house music uh label out of Chicago called DJ International Records. I'm getting ready to release a second song what? called Stand Up for Love. Oh. So uh, that's getting ready to come out. That's EDC music. Uh, if you if you like house music. Uh, when the I was approached by one of the house DJs to do a song, uh, and that was it. Uh, we wrote this song along with my music manager Myron Bernard, oh. and uh, produced it here in Las Vegas. Then uh, sent it to Chicago. They mixed, mastered it, and released it on the Jack Master Seven album. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. Amazing, amazing. And you've got songs you do like Same Old Song, Lucille, Disco Inferno, Your Love is Lifting Me Higher. These are, everybody knows these beautiful songs and we love hearing your voice. You've got a iconic voice, uh, not only because it's in your DNA, Bobby, but you've got mm-hmm. a wonderful timing and delivery. And uh, it's, it's soothing to our souls. It's soothing to my soul and my husband's and we love it. And I know everyone is. Thank you. Yeah. Everyone needs it and everyone's going to enjoy it, Bobby. <laughs> I'm so excited. Well, I, I'm, That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here to do it. You yes. Know? Yes. I'm here to put it out and to do it. And my, my goal is to, I have a Christmas song out uh, right now called this Christmas It's a cover of Donna Hathaway's, but I wanted to put something out where you can feel my spirit and feel my heart. So you can go to YouTube and listen to it. Uh, um, uh, there's a video that we did uh, this Christmas. So go check it out. Bobby Wilson, this Christmas. Don't wow. put in Bobby Brooks Wilson. We Just Bobby Wilson, this Christmas. Wow. And uh, I got that playing online. I actually have it on Facebook for, for everybody too. So go listen to it. Yes, yes. And definitely uh, support and follow. Go to Facebook and find Bobby and like and follow him and support him and he's on there and on Instagram as well Bobby Wilson Instagram yeah Bobby Wilson music yeah Bobby Wilson music everything else TikTok Instagram website everything else is Bobby Wilson music wonderful uh, yeah thank you thank you That's for so thank great. you for the plus yes yes and also <laughs> thank you, um, I, I love it I, I love it I just love talking to you you're so much fun to talk to. And um, Bobby, who do you look up to in the mus- in the music industry? Well, besides my dad, Michael Jackson, uh, Four Tops, 
Peebo Bryson, Jeffrey Osborne, so many. This uh, one of my mentors, uh, George Benson. This is, oh, you know, um, uh, the people that I, I uh, really look to. My 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 uh, manager guy now, you know, a music manager I call him, Myron Bernard. Definitely look up to him. He is full of knowledge, and um, I'm learning so much just working with him. And uh, you know, just it's it's so many people. I mean, it really is. There's a lot of angels that come in your life, and sometimes you don't realize it, that they're angels and helpers. Yeah. But there's a lot, and and um, I had a lot come and go. I had Billy Roquel Davis, who was my first mentor, first angel. Uh, I I consider Bill Medley an angel. Um, 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 Paul Revere, who passed away. Um, but Paul Revere really um, was my catalyst behind me in Legends in Concert. If it wasn't for Paul Revere, I wouldn't even try to do Jackie Wilson, mm -hmm. uh, a tribute. But Paul Revere put his foot in my back and says, you're going to do this because you can do this. And so I, I, I had so many angels, you know, deacons from my church, mothers from my church growing up, um, encouraging me. Um, my first a mentor, a very first mentor, was the preacher of our church, Miles David Bogan. My son is named after the preacher, oh. Miles. But uh, um, if I, I, I said if I have another son, I knew my first son was going to be Robert Jr. But that my second son is Miles. If I had a third son, his name would be David. <sighs> because because of the, that man, Miles David Bogan, is the first one that made me stand in front of the church and sing. Uh, he saw something in me at nine years old. So, a um, lot, a lot. I had it's too many to name. It's it's no one angel, you know. Yeah. And some that I don't know, like uh, uh, Deepak Chopra, great leader, you know. Yeah. Lois L. Hay, great leaders, you know. Um, people that I I listen to and I uh, pay attention to, and um, have made big impact in my life. Amazing, amazing. And now you have a family, right? Um, and, yes. And sons, and do you have daughters as well? No, no, no daughters that I know of. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have two boys. I do have two boys, and uh, and they're fantastic, and uh, they're great boys. But um, and they got they now they're, they're carving their own way in the world right now. What, so. Are they are they also artists? Do they want to sing? What do they want to do, Bobby? Uh, they're doing their own thing, but no, they're not. They're not singing. Uh, one plays uh, saxophone, the other one plays piano uh, and guitar. But they are both businessmen. They they uh, what I call suits. Mm -hmm. They have the personality of businessmen. They have the they have the personality, uh, and they they work. Both of them are middle management guys in different cup fortune 500 companies wow so, um, they're doing, so they're doing fine you know they're you doing know. fine uh, yeah i told my oldest and you know i want a baby uh i want a baby in bentley <laughs> drop top I i'm waiting for him to get it for me <laughs> <laughs> so he gave me a little toy you know he gave me a toy bentley i said thanks a lot <laughs> <laughs> oh funny oh that's hilarious <laughs> but oh. yeah yeah he gave me a yeah, but oh, no, but they're, they're doing very well. So um, I'm, I pray for them constantly that God guides them and direct them and, and that they hear his voice, you know. Yes. Do you want to give uh, a shout out to because their... Once they reach it... I'm sorry, go ahead. What's that? I was going to say, do you want to give a shout out, I to, their, give a shout out to, their, to... to their names or, or anyone else? Uh, to your son? Uh, they, they, they get embarrassed if I do that. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but, but, but I love them. I love Miles and Robert. Miles and Robert, I love them. Okay. Yeah, no, I... I usually keep them out of the, the, the okay. this business. Got it, got it, got <laughs> yeah. it. So we'll yeah. just say, we'll say hi respectfully and your dad loves you, right, Bobby? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. So Daddy um, loves you. Daddy loves you. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and, and your wife? How about your wife? Oh, glad, uh, glad. Yes, we've been together for quite a while now. And um, she's, uh, she's my backbone. So I'm very... Uh, uh, she's a, definitely a helper. I mean, uh, God said it's not good for man to be alone. Yeah, he's right. Um, amen. Right. Amen. That's why yeah. I have my my Jeff here. I'm his helper. Mm -hmm. 
So yes, I, yes. right? <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. She so, kicks me in the butt. She kicks me in the butt. Quite she... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They said men, men go after uh, wives like their mothers. Uh, this probably, she's a lot like my mom. It's wonderful yeah. to keep each other accountable, isn't it, Bobby? Yes, yes, that's the word. <laughs> that's the word, accountable. Um, <laughs> I, I, I love this. I did want to uh, ask you, are you interested? You mentioned your Christmas song and I want everyone to go to Facebook and play it and check it out. And it's, it's and YouTube. It's on YouTube if you put it in. Yes. And you have a, yeah, YouTube, a YouTube channel, right? Yeah. Bobby, Bobby Wilson music, YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, but if you go to YouTube, you can, you can hear it. It's uh, this Christmas. And it, I put my spirit into that. So my soul into that. So I hope you like it. It's beautiful. I love it. I love mm -hmm. it so much. So go to Bobby's YouTube account and subscribe and listen to that great song. And also, Bobby, I wanted to ask you, are you open to syncing with, um, you know, films, you know, your music? Are you open to licensing and syncing with um, independent films or or that kind yes. of thing? Are you open Absolutely. to that? Yeah, I have my own publishing company. And uh, I'm with um, I'm with uh, uh, ASCAP, and uh, so yes, I'm I'm in. Uh, if anybody's looking for music that they like to use on their their movies or their films, um, I I signed a D, uh, NDA, so I'm I'm actually not talking about a couple projects that's going on right now, um, I but they are film projects. I should say that. So okay. be on the lookout. Great. Some, some new film stuff coming out. Super excited for you. So happy for you and so much fun. And um, we have the last uh, teardrop post movie poster back on the screen with your gorgeous picture. And I just wanted to give another shout out to thank you to director Tony Greer, distributed by Fan Force Films, the branch in Sydney, Australia. It's 84 right. minutes. Yeah, 84 minutes color. And it's uh, the production company is a quest films production company so i just wanted to give a shout out to them now this is a 2023 documentary your incredible journey bobby about your life and your mom and your dad right. and, and everything when 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 does it come out when can we see it and where well um it's everywhere right now uh, you can just get all the information from the films the film fan force website okay <coughs> Or you can go to the lastteardrop.com website okay. and get the information. Uh, it's, we're going to Europe with it because we've been doing premieres all over the country. Wow. And I've been doing Q&As after the premieres. So we're going to Europe um, to do the same thing uh, starting January. As a matter of fact, they're lining up some uh, some days in the UK and they're lining up some uh, premieres in uh, Australia, Sydney, wow. and, and, and uh, the Gold Coast and Brisbane and Adelaide and, um, you know, Sydney, uh, Australia is like a second home to me. So it, it was just quite fitting that they picked up the film and they just, they distributed. it. So um, please take a look at it. Uh, there's a, there is a two minute um, trailer. Yeah. You can see mm -hmm. it right on the website. Uh, the last teardrop.com hit that trailer and gives you a feeling for what the movie's like definitely and um best of luck and best wishes and many blessings uh, god bless this project and all your projects uh bobby mm -hmm. and you. and i want to say uh when when jeff and i come next time to las vegas we would love to meet you and take you and your wife out to dinner or at least meet somehow and uh, okay. or, or see a show. I would love that. We would love that so much. If well, it, you know how to you know how to get a hold of me, so just give me a holler. <laughs> okay, and we would wonderful, do it. Wonderful, okay. wonderful, great. And to all your fans out there, do you have a Christmas message or something you wanted to say for the new year? Very standard. Love ye one another as you love yourself. This is a time to love. This is a time to forgive. This is a time to forget. This is the time to cherish your loved ones and keep them close because you can have it all today and you can lose it tomorrow. Look at what's happening in the world. Look at Israel. Look at Pakistan. Look at look at look at Gaza. You can have it today and it can be chaos tomorrow. Love your family. Love your mother and father. If you haven't called them, pick up the phone and call them. If you haven't talked to your kids, call your children. 
talk to them, let them know that they are loved. That way they can't be taken by the enemy. When you're alone and by yourself and you feel like you have nothing, it is easy for the enemy to take you. But if you know that you love, you know that God's got you, then, then they can't touch you. They can't, no matter what happens in this world, you, you can endure. You can endure anything no matter what happens because you have the love of your family, the love of God around you protecting you. That's the message for Christmas. If anything, love your family, love each other, reach out and help somebody, uh -huh. give somebody something. You know, if you're wealthy, share your wealth. If you if 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 you've been blessed with deep pockets, you know, bless somebody that's struggling. You know, uh, I always, um, you know, it's it's hard for me when I drive up to a light and as a beggar on the streets, it's hard for me to ignore them. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I know I'm not in, I saw this guy and I let this go, but I saw this guy roll his window down and the guy said, could you help me? And he goes, are you going to drink with this? Are you going to drink with this? That's not your job. Right. You're either going to bless them or you're not. Yes. It's, it's God's job for the rest. Yes. You, know, yeah. it, you don't chastise somebody and then give them money. No. If you're going to give them money, get the money cheerfully. That's what the Bible says. Cheerfully. Exactly. Give it to him because God's going to work on him. Uh, I, I kind of, <laughs> when I was coming to the ship, the taxi driver picked me up from the hotel to take me to the ship. The ship was five minute drive. Yes. And when I got to the to the pier, the guy said $25. And I looked at him and I said, really? And he and he was an older gentleman and it was like he had a stroke. So half of him, his body he was like, oh, you got to give me my $25. Wow. And, and I gave him the 20 and I said, you know, God's watching you. Did you know that? Yeah. Here's the money. I said, here's the money. But, you, but God is watching you. Exactly. And then I left. I was mad because I was like, wow. come on. Yeah. I know that it's $10. I've been here a million times. Wow. It's $10. $10 and I usually give him a $5 tip. Just, you know, just to give it to him. This guy said $25. I was like, what? Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's said, not, on, that's not inflation. <laughs> that That's not, that was double, well, that I, was triple. Yeah. I don't know what he was thinking, he, but he didn't care. And wow. he started huffing and puffing. And I'm going, oh, we'll call the police. And, and, and. Wow. I said, I said, you know what? Here, God's watching you. Yes, yes. Trust me. Exactly. So trust me on this. I put, I, I held the, the 20, but and I wouldn't <laughs> I turn it loose. That. I wouldn't turn it loose until he looked me in my eyes. I said, God's watching you. Here. <laughs> Bobby, he, we, we love that you said that so much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because, you know, he's robbing me blind. <laughs> you know? And, so, and, my, and the devil and the devil came out and said, "Just knock his butt out." You know, I said, "No, I can't do that." <laughs> you know, I can't do that. You know, that's gotta have right. some self control. That's right. <laughs> but but I I'm you're with you. You're gonna be tested. You're gonna be tested. You know, you're gonna be tested in this world. And I was like, I couldn't believe this guy. He looked me square in my face. Twenty five dollars. Whoa. <laughs> like, what? Whoa. I said, dude, that was that was a five minute drive. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So anyway, you know. Yes, uh, and, it, and you did all you could. You did the best. You, you you gave it to him, and now it's between him and his maker, and yeah, and it's I mean, on him. Already, I was I was thinking to myself, you like he already had a stroke, you know, half uh, his body shut down. Yeah, so I'm like, you don't give yourself a stroke if you're fighting with people, you know. Wow, because yeah. you know, because so, I they I always you know ask you know okay what what's the average price you know oh it's no more you, you, your ship is five minutes away. You shouldn't pay more than $10. No, uh -uh, that's right. Well, yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah. but I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> You're great. I, had to share that. I am. I, so had glad. To share that. <laughs> I had, I love that you shared that. I love it. Yeah. I'm just that same way though, too. And mm. I'm also um, this type of person. I don't mind whatever the truth is. Just tell me, I don't mind. Just tell me I'm 100%. Mm. I'll, I'll, I'll be okay. Are you mm. like that too, Bobby? You like, just no. <laughs> no you're not sometimes i don't want to oh, sometimes okay. i don't want to know the truth you know? <laughs> okay well i do i just want to i want to know so i can deal with it do you know what i mean <laughs> yeah. yeah i get it i get it no i'm I'm like uh you know what I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay that's uh, that works too it, it, yeah, yeah we're all in it together okay <laughs> so. yeah we are yeah we are well, Bobby, I've enjoyed this so, so much. And I just, I adore you. And uh, I think thank you're you. one of the classiest, most best performers ever. And Thank you so um, much. Thank you for that. 
I really do. And I love your beautiful heart and your beautiful family. God bless you, you. and God bless your beautiful family. I cannot talk. Thank you. I cannot top your heart message. Your heart message is like the number one. It's God inspired. It's love inspired. It's got everything anybody ever needed. And so I just, I'm just going to say, I back you up on your heart. Thank message. you. Okay. <laughs> if we can do that, we are heal the world and heal ourselves. You know? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so um, if we can just do that. So that's yeah. where I'm at. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love it. Okay. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. It's been such a wonderful show tonight. You've made it the very best. And uh, I just want to say again, God bless you, Bobby. We love you. You're going to do phenomenal. You're already, thank you. And you're already a success. And you're just going to reach higher and higher. You're just going to reach higher. Where are we going? (laughs) That's right. That's right. So until we meet again, anything else you want to say before we close the show, Bobby? No, thank you. Just thank you for having me on and have a blessed Christmas and a happy new year. Thank you. You too, Bobby. You too. Um, Merry Christmas. Happy new year. Much love and respect. The utmost Mm -hmm. respect. And uh, arrivederci. Until we meet again. (laughs) Bye-bye.